Hello, and uh, welcome to my devlog. It's uh, it's from our game called Value of Magic, and uh, in this series is gonna it's gonna be behind the scenes. I'm I'm never gonna just sit down and play the game solely, because uh, you can do that yourself. Um, I think most people sort of just play their game and showcase new stuff, but uh, I'm gonna show you the stuff you won't otherwise be able to see, since you know so far the game is free, so you can just download and play it for yourself. Um, yeah, let's get to it. So, uh, I'm using Unity, as you might be able to tell. Uh, and for my IDE, I'm using uh, Visual Studio. It's uh, cool. Um, yeah. In Engine, I have uh, some tools. Uh, first of all, I have my, uh, my Tower Editor, uh, my Creator, so to speak, um, which allows me to you know, quickly create towers without having to sit and use scripts and stuff. I just I just input all the data and it sort of creates it for me, which is nice. I also have uh, my uh, my wave designer. I uh, a few days ago I, I wanted to shift away from my old system because I, I always knew that it wouldn't sort of last. I can show you what I used to have. Um, it was just I I really wanted to get it done quickly, <laughs> so I just I made a script for each wave. Uh, I'm gonna show you one of the later ones. Uh, it, it's it's pretty horrible. It, uh, yeah, as you can tell, it, it just starts a coroutine, and then uh, after it spawned X amount of enemies, it's gonna start another one, which is you know different types of enemies. Um, so what I did was uh, I was kind of unsure how we do the designer, so I just decided to. You know, pay a bit of money and, uh, and buy what's called a spawner, I think it's called. The thing about spawner was uh, it does a lot of different stuff uh, good, but I needed to it, I needed it to do one thing very well. Um, so initially I was sort of like redesigning the script it came with, and I spent like three days doing it. Every time I made something new, something else broke, and uh, we just... Uh, at one point, I just sort of had enough, so I just I deleted it and uh, I made my own, which uh, it, it looks a lot like Spawner, to be honest. It also functions like Spawner, but uh, it's mine and I, I get how it works, and you know it's functional now because it also has to work with Daikon Forge, and it's not like this. The thing about Spawner is you can't just create a new method uh, or use the uh, the the resume wave method. It already has. Because it just it doesn't quite work, and also wanted to do some other stuff so it would work with the game. Um, but yeah, I ended up spending like a few hours, and I just finished this actually, and it's working great. So uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, as you can tell, I have my ten ways I, I made in the script, and uh, you can browse through them. They all are all have uh, different enemy types, and uh, each enemy has a, a game object, obviously. Um, they have repeat, which is how many times the enemy should be repeated before it spawns the next one, or it finishes the wave. As you can tell, wave one has one enemy, so after it spawned ten of those, pardon me, I'm kind of sick. <clears throat> after it spawned ten of those, it's uh, it's gonna wait till they're dead, and then it's gonna stop the wave and allow you to uh, to start a new one. Delay is the delay in between each spawn. Um, different enemies have different speeds and also sizes actually so my largest enemy I could try it out is uh, yeah it's enemy 3 compared to my smallest one uh, which is enemy 2 so I could make an interval that would fit for enemy 2 but it would definitely not fit for enemy 3 that would like uh, spawn on top of each other Uh, but yeah, um, so that's uh, the wave editor. It uh, it's nice, sort of. I think it was stolen from that spawner, but uh, yeah, I like it. It's good. Then uh, I have my path manager, um, which is the first thing I made. It's not really as fancy if, as everything else, but uh, it gets the job done. Um, so as you can tell, these uh, green lines are obviously the path it's gonna follow. I have a path visualizer visualizes um, the green one is where it starts and the red one is where it ends. 
it's it's pretty simple. The, don't mind the colliders and everything. These are are a hack, so you can't uh, spawn towers on top of enemies and the path. I'm gonna get some proper stuff done there uh, at a different time. But um, yeah, it's pretty simple. You uh, you create path and it makes a new path, uh, which you can move ar around. Uh, doesn't quite work in 2D mode. Asymmetric should work, work. And, and it's just sort of works. I can see here. So yeah, just it just follows each point, and then when it reaches the end, they uh, they're despawned and life is uh, withdrawn. If you kill them, you get uh, uh, money, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, then there's uh, last last tech I want to show off. It's a uh, Titan Forge, which is uh, the GUI API I'm using. Obviously, not made by me. Uh, let me just not show the visualizers. It's kind of in my. This is the, probably the greatest thing I've ever bought. It, uh, making GUI in Unity is so complicated. You really do have to have some sort of API. I haven't used uh, what's it called. Next gen GUI, I think. But um, I saw Gary Newman. He he's used both, and he says Stack and Forge is a lot better. Um, I also saw that GUI has a bunch of extra packages, which I don't really like. I want to I want to buy it once and just be done with it. Uh, have it do a bunch of stuff. Uh, so I did some research, and you know I really like Stack and Forge and the way it looked and. Uh, they have some demos and a, a free package, so you can sort of fool around, around with it yourself before you buy it. And I really liked it, so uh, I bought it, and it's it's great. Um, developer is uh, really helpful. I had this one problem with uh, with the Atlas. Um, it uses an Atlas to reduce draw calls, um, and I wanted to implement my own Atlas. And for some reason, I followed their. Uh, they have the, a bunch of YouTube videos, like uh, tutorials. I followed their tutorial. Uh, and it just it didn't work for some reason. I even uh, recorded myself doing it, and I uploaded it and showed it to them. And within like an hour, they replied to me and they gave me a response that worked. Um, turns out some of the textures had the wrong uh, compression type, and uh, yeah, fixing, uh, doing what they told me to worked. Uh, so it's not. I can definitely recommend it if uh, anyone's on the lookout for it. it. It does a lot of stuff, great. It uh, on some areas like on on mobile especially it's not quite properly optimized but um, yeah it, it just don't uh, fool around with uh, rotations and I think uh, moving stuff might also not work very well on mobile I haven't quite tested it but I mean you could always just write stuff yourself that and, and you know optimize it yourself um, but yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, so thanks for watching, Isabel. Bye.